We're gonna do rear axles, we're gonna finish the rear suspension, we're gonna take the nose off. Looking forward to this, probably weighs as much as me. We're men, we don't need instructions. We're gonna do it wrong 72 times. Drive shaft time. I measured it perfect. I knew it. Look at it. It looks like a car. We got a drive shaft. It looks good though. So we partnered with eBay Motors for this project to buy a car and all of the parts off of eBay Motors. I'm not saying we're gonna build a 10 second dock, but we should try. Today we're going to be wrapping headers, doing things, and Soupy's going to hack some shit up. Real New York style, making a body mount out of a hockey puck. Soupy! What? Is that really the game plan? Yes, everything he said, and maybe we're going to hang the nose. Vinny! Told you, got, got the download, wrapping headers. What's the plan? Oh, we got to wrap headers. We have to make spark plug wires. We have to put some fuel lines in. We have to... Finish the body mounts for the front. Alex is making a battery tray for our two batteries, right? What? Yes, just say yes. I'm not saying. I'm not saying anything. Alex is not I a team player. That. He's very bitter. Why is, he, why is he bitter? What did you do to him? I didn't do anything. He's just bitter. You turn everyone here bitter? No, I, me? I'm the happiest dude in here. Life lesson, kids. You start your day here. Right? So throughout the day, you just keep climbing. At the end of the day, if you start at the bottom, you're gonna end up somewhere high. <laughs> All right, so we got hooker headers. We don't want to burn up spark plug wires, even with the insulating boot on it. So we're gonna hit it with some Thermotech exhaust heat wrap. It's a pretty simple solution, easy to do, not expensive. So burning up spark plug wires sucks. So this is how you get around it. Step one, throw it in a bucket of water. Step two, pick your route. So when you have a big roll, easiest thing to do, is do the ones with the most space around it because you're gonna have to fish through a lot of a lot of the wrap. So we're gonna do this one, and then this one, and then we're gonna do these two together. So we'll do this this primary, this primary, and then these would be too tight to get the heat wrap through. So we're gonna do these two together. It's gonna be fun. You know, I call Soupy a hack all the time, and honestly, most of the time it's true. But then he does things like this, because that is what will ruin your day when you work on your car, and you'll need stitches, but he rounded the edges. I don't care what anyone says about you. Thanks, buddy. Still a hack. Still a hack. <laughs> <laughs> So long since I've seen you on this set. You're making some other fun. Do we have the, uh, the other header to do too? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, headers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you rather wrap headers? Yeah, because we can hang out and do it at the same time, and then we can hang out and do those sparkle yeah, wires. Like Otherwise, he's over there. And I'm over here. And then there's no, there's no band. People don't watch this to watch us wrap headers. They watch it for me, and we need to fucking make fun of you. So what I would do on this is wrap this one. Mm -hmm. This one and then these together. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, you're gonna wrap these together. I'm gonna wrap these. But what I did is because you still want to be able to get to the spark plug. So and that's because you don't think you can get. Oh, you might be no, because you got it's double that and right. it overlaps too. So no way. Yeah. But I wrap starting of it uh -huh. so they're individual and then just group them together. Because like down here doesn't matter. You never need to get in here. You just make a trash bag. That's like a heat barrier and just slip a trash bag over it. No, you ready? You ready for it to fall? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm good. 
we ordered body bushings the original ones and they didn't come with the front and then we ordered another set and it came in wrong and then we ordered another set and it came in wrong also so we gave up decided to buy hockey pucks is that really a hockey puck it's a hockey puck and then i just made my own insert hockey puck so you need some body mounts some engine mounts Hockey puck. Done. That's all you're doing for the day? That's all you get. That's a lot. I'm gonna make some spark plug wires. And like that, he's gone. Today we got k and in the shop. You guys wanna introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Tony Yorkman. I work in the marketing area. I'm Mike Tucker in the composite department. <laughs> yeah, you guys heard right, composite department. You didn't know k and had one of those, huh? They do. They're here today to turn off a filter for the supercharger on the dump. This is one This is one of your race filters, right? So you guys don't really primarily sell these. It's not a one-off, but this is like the specialty one for race teams. Yeah, this is one's a, it's for a unique application, but yeah, we've got a pretty extensive line and make quite a few unique pieces for race applications. Well, on top of this, they also came up with their new, they're new breathers. We, we have a variance in breathers that have different flanges, mounting points, not just used for breathers, they're used for filtration depending on the size of what's needed, but some of the ones are a little more decorative that have the billet top black. We have ones that are carbon top. Kind of bling, a little bit little. more bling for the dog. So one of the primary reasons they're here today is because of the roof. They're gonna help us make that carbon roof. So what is, what is <laughs> gonna be the process of putting the carbon on top of this? Uh, well, after the prep is done, we'll come in and lay on a sheet of carbon fiber. Um, possibly two, maybe three layers, depending on smoothness mm -hmm. of each layer. And then we'll coat it with some resin, replace the chrome molding around the edges. Okay. I don't see any issues. Well, it originally had like this vinyl <laughs> Leather, top. Yeah. So, so I'm sure the thickness of the carbon and the top will probably- like, Yeah, we're not gonna exceed that at all. And another piece that we want, we actually put you guys in for was this tiny little hood we have here. We want to make it as a, like a stock replacement hood. Mm -hmm because in the Don community, there's no such thing as carbon parts. And it'd be kind of cool that we had Don carbon hood. We'd be, we'd be the only people <laughs> yeah. with car carbon anything on a 71 Caprice. I don't, know if, I, don't know, I don't know if anybody else has carbon anything on a Caprice, but. Yeah, this is definitely a doable piece. We just gotta figure out what kind of structure to uh, put yeah, underneath so, so it. The only thing I think that'd be different, right, is because it is, it's strong, but it's not necessarily as rigid when you're going for for, for weight. For weight. Yeah. So you might have to add some straps in there just for the keep the rigidity, well, right? It's pretty easy. Um, we make angle iron out of carbon, and then you bond that under it, uh -huh. and it'll create a, a strong point. So like a ridge, yeah, if you yeah, wanted yeah. this to so be you're, stronger. You're basically putting ribbing into it. Exactly, so you can put it across this way, you can do your own V-shape, you can I figure that. that. You can almost mock up the stock steel stamped piece for the back, or you have to create that whole piece out of carbon, which is a whole nother. Process. <laughs> so you guys are gonna take this back. I'll have the carbon hood next week. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. A little longer process than that. <laughs> no, you got the weekend. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. You got Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're gonna start the process. Figure out how to prep the roof some more. Yeah, start sanding. I'm back. What 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 does Soupy have you doing today? Yeah, Soupy was. We were talking. He's like, please, Alex. I need you to come in and do this for the dock. I'm like, all right, Soupy. They completed, and he got me to come back. So, gotta get two of these Optima Yellow Top batteries, and I'm gonna be putting them right on that shelf there. So, I'm gonna get in here, and we'll see how they fit. So, my initial plan is to build a shelf. I'll sit like that, hold the batteries, and then I believe we're gonna fasten them rather than welding the tray to the chassis itself. So, gonna use some fasteners with some fender washers, get them in there and call it a day.
Golly. There's a little cavity down up here. All right. So one of the craziest donks that I saw when I was working at Rides and Donk Box and Bubble it was a donk just called the Phantom Donk. And it literally was, like I think it was like a 72 or 73 donk and they just cut the front end off and built Phantom front end, right? Because this was sort of the era of like Phantoms were just you know, the dopest car in hip hop. Got this big hog sitting on third is with a Rolls Royce front. But at the time it seemed like kind of crazy that they were like grafting a Phantom onto the front of this vehicle. And, and they did like a wide body kit on it, which is like, I think the only Donk I know of that actually had a wide body kit. But it was definitely this era in Donk culture where it was like just the trying to build the most expensive car was the big thing. It was all about like how much money you had invested. So everyone was trying to use the most expensive materials and paint and just do the craziest things, right? So people were putting in, you know, the Louis Vuitton interiors and, all this crazy stuff and I knew people who were like, they weren't just getting like the fake printed rolls, they were like buying suitcases and cutting them up so like the material was like actually real genuine movie. And it, this became the trend, it was just like how much money can you possibly dump into one of these cars? And I think the Phantom Don probably took that to a whole other level because they literally just cut up a Phantom to make this thing work. How we pimping candy with the thirties, blowing big, doing it big. But they debuted it at SEMA. We put it on the cover of Rides Magazine. No idea what happened to that, but that was a shop called Spade Customs. Honestly, they were in Ohio, but Rick Spade over there. It was definitely this moment of like peak donkdom. From there though, it was a good thing because it kind of got to this point of being ridiculous. And then the scene went back to making clean cars. Small pro tip, you probably shouldn't do this without gloves unless you want your hands to be really itchy because I just found out this is still fiberglass, which makes sense for insulation. Are your hands itchy, Vin? Yeah. He just told me his hands are itchy. He's just trying to act tough. I'm trying to act cool. <laughs> wow, how do these go in? You can also go in from the bottom up, maybe? No, I don't think so. You know, Brian, struggle first. Hand, then do after. Hand me up to the bottom. You need the bolts for that? What? Huh? You, need the, you need the bolts for that? Get we'll get it there. We'll get it there. We'll get it there. Don't worry about it. Oh. There we go. Like a freaking glove, my friend! Cut back to when I said. You can also go in from the bottom up, maybe? No, I don't think so. Easy peasy. Yeah, when you do it the right way. Where are the bolts? Soupy! Oh, how do you want me? Yeah, it went in real quick. Wait, weren't there bolts on there already? Yo, by the way, Soupy, can you help me with the rover later? <laughs> Not it. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> Not it. it. Not, Not it. Not it. Not it. One for you. I'm holding this. Oh. Why don't you think I'm just hovering here? That's yeah. nice. Look at that. Thanks for your help, Scotto. Yeah. No problem. See that, Johnny? Hand strain. Oh, what? There's <laughs> gas in this thing? God, I hate you. Can you lock it back up? No, oh, God, they're like cut. The man who had the strongest hands ever is now complaining Still about Still strong, it. but delicate. <laughs> <laughs> like all the little brothers I never wanted. Are we gonna make those like a car again? Yeah. Uh, could probably use one extra person to hold the front. You also probably want to clear everything out of the way up there. Vin A. Vin A. Vin A. Can I ask a serious question? Yeah. Why hang the nose if it's going to paint? If they take it off, you know, if they take off the doors or something, they have to set everything back up. Okay, but so we're going to try to get this. We're going to try to get it as close as we can because I have a feeling they're not going to take anything off. Well, if that's true, it. do we want to flat black out the inside right now? Right here? Yeah. We could, right right here. We could flat black it. I mean, do you see what's drawn in there? Yo, come, come take a look. <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot all about it. Who did that? Someone drew a penis in the car. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. It's really funny because we're like all millions, man. Uh, yeah, because I, I don't want to go near the header. 
Because I don't want to run on this side of the train. So no one gets mad if the scratch are fitting. Yeah. Oh, I love making fuel lines. I'll do this all day. I thought when you said fuel lines, I thought you were talking about us making hard lines. That's why I no, dipped out. No, I will, I, will, I will let you guys do that. Luckily, this car's not low. <laughs> or, or, exactly, or, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, in fairness to myself, we did not have the exhaust yet. <laughs> yeah, so when you learn some things when you, put, when you build a car without the body on it. I can, I can, I can redo that. You can just build a notch yeah, in here. Yeah, you can put a little notch in it. I can rebuild that bar faster than I can build a notch. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the guys make the tank? Yeah. What's their name? Chevy Boys. Chevy Boys? No way. They literally just make tanks for dogs. That's all they do. You That's mean to tell me? Sick. And they make like 10 every like six months, so. So this tank is from Chevy Boys and it's made just for dogs? Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. That's so much better than the old tank. The old tank was mad gross. This is nice. Yeah, yeah, it's and it's not like anyone like stocks race tanks for uh, 1971 Caprices. Yeah, right. It's not like something they have at Summit. Not your first choice. I like this. It's got a little sump in the back. I think it's tight. And it's a muscle man. Just strap me in. Yes. For what? So, how are we going to have to come? How are we gonna do this? You wanna tighten it down and then we could mark it where we're gonna take one strap off in time and bend it? Yeah, what's up? Do that. Oh, Alex. Alex. Fast way, Alex. fucking inside. Bend it. Yeah, yeah Alex, and then Alex. figure out where the strap lies, we make the bend, <laughs> undo it, and do it again. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, they're really good. <laughs> this is a nice tank. <laughs> Thanks to Chevy boys. Chevy boys. Alright. Chevy boys. Yeah, we're done. I'm gonna run this fuel line whenever you guys are done tightening those bolts. Strap it to this if you really want to. You just gotta drill holes in the frame rail. Suck. I mean, there is a hole right here in the trunk. If you went, oh, wait, you're over here? Yeah. I mean, you could also really just leave it like that because uh, none of that moves, so. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely safer up there than it is around this. Yeah, that's true. I was just wondering if we can go to the other side of this, but I guess not because all that. No, yeah, and I don't want it on the other side of the rail because that would be a tire. Yeah, that all talks in nice. Yeah. Don't overthink it. That's yeah. wise yeah. words right there. Don't overthink it. Just don't <laughs> Just make sure it doesn't hit anything and you're all good. Yo, good day. I'm pretty stoked. We got a lot done on this thing. Wrapped the headers, made a fuel system. Well, completed the fuel system with uh, all the Earl's Teflon braid lines. So we're good for E85. And what else did we do today? Mounted the Optimus. Hung the nose back on. Dual battery mount Ran for the two lines. yellow tops. We didn't do that. Alex did well, that. Alex did that, but we collectively did it. Did you say fuel tank? Fuel tank. We installed the fuel tank. Yeah, we made a lot of progress today. What's next? Uh, we gotta do an exhaust. Got to do an exhaust. Remake that cross. Few other pieces, and then it goes to paint. And that's it. It's not enough to really do it. No, just do it vertically. Dan yeah, has double sided tape. Patch, tape it. Just patch double side tape it down. Just patch them on in there. It's like paper mache. Yeah. Boom, look, that looks sick. Tight. I work with a bunch not of assholes. Bad at all. Should stick nice to that wet stuff. 